Meanwhile, our security agencies are charged with the awesome task protecting our secrets, preserving the country's 320 million citizens from harm. But ever since the inauguration of the president, that responsibility has been mixed with a lot of leaking government secrets to the press. Ned Price worked for the CIA from 2006 until this past February when he quit rather than serve under President Trump. He says it was not a political decision. He joins us tonight. Uh, Ned Price, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, Tucker. First, let me say, I, you know, good for you. If you don't think you can work for a president, you should leave. Um, you, you are a Democrat. You work for Democratic campaigns given to Democratic candidates. Fine. You know, I, I, I guess what I'm saying is yours is the model I wish others in the federal government would follow since the CIA exists to inform the president not to make its own policy. And yet what you're seeing is people who've stayed behind who are trying to undermine the policies of the president. And that's unconstitutional. Well, Tucker, look, I certainly appreciate the compliment. Um, but let me just make the point that our intelligence community is not comprised of Republicans or Democrats. They are not comprised of progressives or conservatives. These are people who have signed up to protect the country, to protect the country they love, um, regardless of who is in the Oval Office. I worked proudly under President George W. Bush as a CIA analyst when I first started. I worked proudly under President Barack Obama, whom I later served in the White House. But this is not the intelligence community. It, it is not a shifting sand based on which political party well, and is it, in and power, it nor, nor should it be. It shouldn't be. Right, Look, exactly. I've lived here a long time. It's an enormous federal government. Part of what you said is true. Part of it's not. There are partisans in the government, permanent government, and I know them. So that's that's untrue. But, but I think, but, I think but most of them... Tucker, are, that's, that, that's the nature of our government, that, of course, you can have personal political beliefs, right. as you do and as I do, but you can still fulfill the function that you are charged with as a public servant, whether it's a but Republican or Democrat. that's not actually Democrat the office. point that I'm making. My point is that people who serve in a bunch of different agencies, including CIA and you know, throughout the intel community, have certain views of policy that they are wedded to. And that in this case, and there's been a lot of reporting on this, they believe Trump will undermine their goals, and so they're trying to undermine Trump. And what I'm saying, withholding information from him, for example, and what I'm saying is I don't things think fall a, apart. I don't think there's any evidence happens. of that, first of all. Really? There's, the New York Times reported it. I believe them. I, I think it was the Wall Street Journal that reported that, but I don't think there was any evidence to actually back that up. And, and oh. I think that well, then, the, the CIA director and the director of national intelligence has actually come out and said that's not true. Okay. But, 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 but here's what we know. They didn't like Mike Flynn. Fine. But then they destroyed him by leaking and committed a felony in so doing a transcript of his conversation, which was surveilled with the Russian ambassador. They're not allowed to do that. They did it to affect a political end, and we should be worried about that. Let me make the very important point that there is never any justification for the leaking of classified information. It is illegal, and it has the potential to put lives at risk. But there are other important points. Not for just put lives, but destroy a life for political reasons. That's what well, they did. Well, yeah, exactly. And it, in the case of in intelligence works, in work, it has the potential to put sources at risk, sources in the field, people who commit treason against their own country to help the United States. It has the potential to expose them and to you know, uh, leave them um, to the will of, of their government. No, it's not just about in agents in the field. It's I, about I, me I, and you and anybody else. But here's what bugs me. Look, I appreciate our federal employees, including in the intelligence community. But the idea that you can't criticize them when they've been repeatedly wrong about a lot of big things, I don't know, the fall of the Soviet Union after 50 years of watching, or 9-11, or the WMD in Iraq. The idea that I don't, as a citizen, have a right to criticize them, I'm unpatriotic if I do so, where'd that come from? No one has ever said that intelligence professionals are infallible. Intelligence is not a science, it is an art. It is about putting together a piece of the puzzle, where, uh, uh, an entire puzzle, wearing a blindfold, not knowing how many pieces exist. But you it, said it, that. It, it is an art. No, but you said that. You said NPR. They said NPR, so why'd you yeah. leave? And you said... Trump insulted the intel community, fine, and he said, quote, he accused them of leaking, which they do, and doubted their work. What's wrong with that? There is nothing, that my there, right? There is nothing wrong with doubt with being skeptical. What, what the point I was making to NPR is that President Trump, who was then the GOP nominee at the time, in the third debate, just casually cast aside the high confidence assessment of all 17 intelligence community agencies that Russia had meddled in our election. He didn't have any proof otherwise. He didn't have any justification for it. He just said he didn't believe it. Well, it could have been have a They didn't have any proof either. And by the way, <laughs> all of our, Stan Spiel Turner, who ran CIA, as you know, for an awfully long time, said when the Soviet Union felt no one there knew this was going to happen. Tucker, is someone... So, like, that's not crazy. Is, is, a consensus is not the truth. As, so, as someone who spent years working on analysis within the CIA, yeah. I, I know that a high-confidence assessment, there is something to that. And a high-confidence assessment that, well, is, so signed, what it, what is, that is signed onto by 17 intelligence communities, uh, agencies, all 17 agencies... Are there really 17? What are the 17 <laughs> intelligence agencies? <laughs> Do you really? throw that around? I don't know what they are. What are they? <laughs> there's a CIA, there's a DNI, there's a DIA, there's the FBI, there's the NSA. You go on and on and on. No, that's but, five. 
I mean, I don't know that there are 17 intelligence agencies. Why does everyone say that? I mean, I'm just uh, sincerely. Okay. I wish someone would email me and tell sure me what I'll, they are. I can, I can get you a, a full Because every time. night the guest is like, oh, if, all if 17, know really? All what are they? If you want to know all 17 of them, I'm sure we can provide that to you. I hope but, you will. But that's beside the point. The point no, is No, it's that, the point. <laughs> It's that the point is, look, you're claiming knowledge of something that you haven't produced. If you're going to affect the political process with a claim, I, as a citizen, have a right to know what the heck you're talking about. They, Tucker, they produced their report. I they, read it. No, you didn't because it's classified. No, no, I read the public, I read the public exactly. summary of it. Yes. And it didn't tell me anything. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that's how you feel, but there, it, both in that January report and then in the October attribution statement on October 7th, the all 17 intelligence community agencies signed on to this okay. statement with high confidence that Russia was behind this. Subsequent to that, in January, they produced a classified assessment and an unclassified assessment that laid out their case in great detail. You certainly read the unclassified yeah. version, but there is a classified okay. version that has data points. Okay. We got to go. Evidence. We're out of time. Ned, it's great to see you. All Come right. back. All we'll right. be right